guys. So you may know you have to wear a face mask, but you may not love doing it. But today I'm gonna give you some awesome fashion tips and tricks on how to make that face mask work into your outfit so you look amazing even though you have to wear a face mask. But for the best fashion tips and advice, hit that little red button down below that says subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and ring the bell to be notified every Friday when I publish videos because I would love to have you part of my style community. I'm Carrie Lachelle, owner of Such Savvy Style. I'm an image consultant and style expert and the author of the book, The Outside Inside Magic of a Great Image. And I love helping women, everyday women, just like you, look and feel amazing in their clothes. And that's what I do with my clients. But today, I wanna to talk to you about how to make that face mask look a little bit more fashionable. So let's get started. So whether you hate wearing a face mask or you don't mind, it doesn't really matter because a lot of places require it. So let's make it a fun fashion accessory. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about some tips and tricks to mix it with your wardrobe so that it becomes your new favorite fashion accessory. So the first thing to figure out is what? Yep, we've talked about it many times before, figuring out your personal style. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it right here, make sure you watch it, um, how to create your personal style. So finding a face mask that really suits who you are is really important, especially because it's around your face. So are you a little bit more classic? Are you a little bit more boho? Are you a little bit more trendy? Think about what styles you relate to and think about how you can bring that into your face mask. So maybe if you are classic, you would find a cute gingham print or a cute polka dot fabric kind of cute. Or if you are more Boho, maybe you would find something like a fun tie-dye print to be fun for you. So really give some thought to what your style is and if you can find a pattern or a print or some kind of face mask that matches your personal style. The next idea is about black and white. Do you love to wear black and white, especially in the summer where it's kind of fun to just only wear black and white, but maybe it's not your very best colors together around your face. So this is a great opportunity to add a pop of color that is one of your best colors to your black and white outfit. Not to mention it would be super cute. So think about adding a purple face mask with black and white, which is one of my favorite colors. Think about adding a bright pop of yellow or red or teal or coral. There are so many colors that you can just do a solid face mask with any of your black and white clothing. So my third idea is if you're wearing solids, this is a great opportunity to add one of your favorite prints. So this could be a print that you just love, or what about a signature print that could be kind of your thing, right? Like I love hearts and butterflies. Uh, people just know that if they see anything with hearts or butterflies and I, it's time to get me a gift, they can buy me something with hearts or butterflies. Some people love bees, some people love dragonflies, some people love polka dots. Like what is your signature print if you have one that you could find to you know, spice up some of your outfits, especially if they're all solid color outfits with a fun pattern. My fourth tip is gonna be a little bit challenging for some of you, but it's one of my very favorites, which is mixing patterns and prints. So try and think about what patterns you have in some of your favorite colors and buying a pattern face mask that would match with a bunch of your clothing items. So I have this little patterned face mask here that has this um, green and this teal and this blue, which are some of my very best colors that I love. And I love it because I can make fun outfits and mix fun patterns this particular face mask. Idea number five. So if you miss wearing your lipstick, this is a great idea for you. I was actually talking to another image consultant and we were discussing lip stains and lipsticks that won't rub off on your face mask. And she said, oh my gosh, I have a great idea. What if people bought a face mask in the color of their lipstick? And I loved it. So I wanted to share it with you because sometimes you don't want a pattern or you know, you don't, you just want to wear something that's really flattering to your face. And wearing your lip color would be an amazing choice of, of things to do for that. So think about what is your lip color that you wear in terms of maybe you're going more of a coral color right now, or maybe you're you kind of like a pink or a berry, and try and purchase a face mask in that color of your lipstick. That would be really, really pretty. Idea number six is if you are a blingy type of girl, like I am, 
maybe you can add a little bit of length to your face mask. Now we want it to still be very functional, so we have to be careful about what we add, but you know, maybe you can add a little bit of bling off to the corner, or maybe you can add a little pearl, tiny little pearls around the edges. Something that would kind of make it feel a little bit more fancy if that's your style. So think about what you have in your jewelry box, or maybe you have some old pieces that you want to take apart that you could maybe attach to your mask as long as it doesn't take away how the mask actually works and functions. So you guys, I definitely recommend having more than one face mask because we want to make sure we have enough to rotate through so that we can wash them and keep them clean so that they're really good and functional. I probably have a collection of four going on right now, plus it makes it more fun and enjoyable to be able to, you know, make that face mask part of our outfit creation process. So really get in there and play with your clothes and see what you have that will match with your face mask. And I would love to hear what you come up with or see little pictures. So go ahead and comment down below and share what you're doing with your face mask. In the meantime, head on over to suchsavvystyle.com where you can purchase a copy of my book, sign up for my newsletter, um, get a free download. I would love, love, love to have you part of my style community. So you could do that here by hitting that little red button down below that says subscribe, giving me a thumbs up, sharing this video with all of your girlfriends, and I will see you guys next week Friday. Bye guys.